Okay, I want to change the this a little bit. Um, I want to set it up so that the rest length of the spring in between our movers, I want that rest length to be equal to um, the radius of this sphere plus the radius of this sphere so that it comes and it settles so that they're touching each other. Uh, and that's pretty easy to do because we're using mass to um, represent the sphere size. So all we need to do is uh, change the rest length from our, our arbitrary 10 to self.mass plus other mover dot mass. And uh, let's take a look at that. Uh, okay, you can see that uh, the strength is quite high, or um, the spring, spring strength is so high that the spring force over here pulls it straight through to the other, and then it kind of oscillates back and forth. forth. So, um, So we can do two things. First, I want to dampen the velocity. So up here in our mover, we have velocity and then our position. So we just want to dampen velocity. And the way that we do that is self.velocity equals uh, rs.vectorscale. And we want to scale velocity down by like 0.9. So let's try that. Okay, so it settles there. So actually I was going to, um, if, if that didn't work, I was going to mess around with the uh, the strength of the spring, but because it settles we're just going to go ahead and uh, look at this with another mover. So you can see that with three movers it's working pretty nicely. Um, I'm going to pause, pause it and then uh, also we can bump this up to high quality to look at it. Uh, you don't really want to run your simulations in high quality because it slows it up quite quite significantly. But this is kind of settled. So now we have our movers from random positions with random masses. And then we've pulled them together so that they settle upon one another. Uh, this is nice. It's not that... Um, it's not really extendable to a lot of movers, and I'll uh, show you show you that. Uh, first, I want to bring over a time. I want to plug this in there and this in there, and that way we can just mess around with our time over here. Uh, let's take. You want to keep an eye on uh, the how long it's taking. And um, so let's look at five movers. Uh, let's look at seven movers. So we're going to go from three, uh, about 360 to. So you can see that by increasing this by two, it um, almost doubles the time spent. So if we increase it. Let's increase it up to 9. So we're going... So... Okay. So that's at uh, a time of... Uh, let's... Okay, I'm going to bump this down to low quality. Okay, so you can see that it's uh, it's pretty pretty well settled at 
about 200. Um, but what I was talking about with, uh, you know, filling a space with our movers and having them all rest, it doesn't really work because uh, the um, the spring between these two pulls them both into this spring. So you're kind of finding you're finding like an equilibrium between all of the springs, but uh, that equilibrium isn't where the movers each have their own space. So it's kind of uh, it's kind of fun, but uh, it doesn't quite do doesn't quite do what I want eventually to do, which is to fill a space with our movers. But anyways, it's kind of uh, a neat neat application to the spring force to do something like that, like maybe four. And you can see with four that uh, that it does. We've got that going on. But anyway, that's kind of uh, that's kind of a fun thing to play around with.